So I finally picked up a PS Vita about a month and a half ago, and I just gotta say this console is so fun to play, I highly recommend it. I thought it'd be kind of cool to show you guys what I have on my modded PS Vita, because if you don't know, which I'm sure everybody knows, you can easily mod the Vita. You can literally mod it using the Vita, like you don't even have to plug it into the computer. It literally takes like 15, 20 minutes. It's so easy and it's amazing. So while I don't have a ton of games, I'd say I have a pretty good amount. I try not to have too many games like at once because then I'm like, well, what do I play? You know what I'm saying? Like I can only play one game at a time. And I don't really want to start like several game stories at one time. So I'm trying to kind of limit myself and download more as I go on and beat other games. Right now, the main game I'm trying to beat is Uncharted Golden Abyss. I think this is so far the best game on the Vita. So one game that I was actually really excited to play on the Vita was Call of Duty Black Ops Declassified. So this is a PS Vita exclusive Call of Duty game, which is pretty neat. Also, I bought a pre-owned Vita, so it's cheaper, and this one has a lot of scratches on the screen, so I didn't do that, I promise. So this game came out in 2012, and if you like Call of Duty, you're gonna like this game. There's a campaign, which I actually haven't played yet, and uh, there's, of course, multiplayer. It is kind of hard to control, but there actually are people on this still. Like, like, look at that. We already found a game. We need one more player, and then it's a full lobby. Okay, I guess I just got kicked out of the lobby. But anyways, you can still get lobbies, and you can still play it. It's very slow-paced, though. Like, it's not as quick and fast as, you know, like, Call of Duty, Modern Warfare 2, or just any of the regular Call of Duty games. All right, I'm just going to close out because I can't get into a lobby, but I promise there are lobbies, but I just don't want to wait a long time for the video's sake. Next up, we got Run Sackboy Run. This is pretty fun to play, actually. I was enjoying this the other night. You know, it's just like Subway Surfers or like Temple Run, you know. You try to go and run the farthest that you can. You can get like points and coins or whatever to unlock new outfits and everything. And there's challenges. So it's not like a story game, really, but it's a pretty fun, chill game. So you just go right here and run. It's, it's pretty solid. I uh, definitely enjoy this game. You know, you could like jump and everything, you know. Solid little game here. Next up, I have Super Star Wars. So this is a new game, but it's like... So this is actually a new modern day game, but it's based off of like the NES or just classic video games. So this was made in 2015. And I'll just show you guys really quick. I'm not going to do any like in-depth gameplay of anything today. Just kind of wanted to show you guys most of them. So I mean, it already straight up just looks like it's from, you know the 90s or 80s video game consoles. See, it has that old, like, graphic, like, the 8-bit or 16-bit, whatever. I'm not really sure. It's pretty fun to play. It's not my favorite game on here, but it's something kind of fun if I just want to play something for a few minutes. I also got Terraria or Terraria on here. Uh, this game, it's kind of confusing to me. I don't know. I never played it as a kid. I always wanted it, but I never got it. And uh, it just is pretty complicated. I don't know if I'm ever going to play it. I don't really like it too much, but I definitely see why people do enjoy that game. And of course, I just have some like regular run-of-the-mill, you know, iPhone mobile type of games for when I'm just like chilling in the car or something like that. We got Fruit Ninja, Angry Birds Trilogy. So this Angry Birds game has several different Angry Birds games built in, which is really awesome. So there's like endless gameplay on that. And of course, Jetpack Joyride, a classic. All three of those are just certified classics. Oh, wait. I'm dumb. There's another one. I forgot we got Plants vs. Zombies. These are just like the games that everyone grew up with, you know, like in the late 2000s and everything. I'm sure all of you already know all about those games. I just think they're really fun to play. And um, and like Angry Birds is optimized on the Vita so you can actually use like the back uh, trackpad type of thing to like sling your birds and everything. It's pretty neat. I would definitely recommend checking those out. And Uncharted Golden Abyss. I don't want to open the game right now just because I have a save, you know, a save file going on. But this game is so great. I think it's my favorite game on the Vita. I feel like it's just so optimized for the Vita. Like so many, so many different things you could use this back trackpad for. But it's, it works seamlessly. Like it's great. And if you don't want to use the back trackpad, you don't have to. Because you can also just use the screen or the buttons as like a regular controller and it's just it's just a great game the graphics also look great on that game because i think the screen is an oled screen i might be wrong but i think it's an oled screen and uh, because it's you know smaller screen smaller resolution size it actually looks really great the storyline is really fun so far the controls feel good like i played through the first uncharted on the ps3 and it was a fun game right but the controls are so dated it was so hard to control that game 
and it's not like that at all on the PS Vita. It's it's really great. I highly recommend Uncharted Golden Abyss. If I didn't say this already, Uncharted Golden Abyss is also a PS Vita exclusive, so you can only play it on the Vita. I got Little Big Planet right here, which I don't think I've played yet. I can't remember, to be honest. So I guess I haven't played this. I think I started it. Maybe my progress didn't save, but I swear I started this game. But Little Big Planet has a massive falling behind it, and I've always wanted to play one of their games. And it's the same character from the Run Sack Boy Run or whatever that game was called, the game. Um, so I'm definitely excited to play this. I know that these are pretty fun games, and uh, I can't remember if this one is Vita exclusive. I think it is. But these games are very colorful and like extremely creative, so I'm definitely... So I'm looking forward to uh, playing through this game. Moving on, we got Need for Speed Most Wanted. So this game has come out on like every single console since it, this game was created. It's just the classic Need for Speed game. So I like this game a lot, but I do find it kind of frustrating at times to control almost on the Vita. But it's still a really fun game to play. Definitely fun to drive around and stuff. This game I just started last night. It's a Lego Ninjago game. All of the LEGO games are so fun, and I'm going to eventually go through most of the LEGO games on here, because these games are just really great, they're really easy to control, and they're just creative, and I think you can never go wrong with a LEGO game for the most part. Maybe some of them are a little whack, but LEGO Ninjago is probably like the coolest LEGO series out there, or at least one of the coolest LEGO series out there. I played this for the first time a few days ago, and the controls are really great, the graphics look really good actually. And uh, what I like about this game is that it actually has voice acting, so it's not like uh, there's no silence or like just subtitles when the storyline is commencing when you're not actually controlling the game, you know what I mean? Like the cutscenes, it has voice actors, so you can actually kind of watch it like a movie almost, so that's something I really like about this game. I don't know why it's taking a long time to load right now, so I'm going to move on to the next game. All right, right here we got Sonic All-Stars Racing Transformed. It's just a Sonic Kart game, you know, like Mario Kart, but with the Sonic characters, you know, nothing too crazy. This game's all right. I feel like this would be better to play with a friend, to be honest. I, I mean, all kart games are definitely better to play with a friend. They're kind of boring to play alone. I don't think anything could ever actually be better than Mario Kart. I think Mario Kart's the best kart series out there, but... This is still pretty fun. It's fun to have different characters, you know, than Nintendo and everything. I'll just race for a quick second here to show you guys how it looks. I won't do a whole race. I'm just going to start it. It's been a while since I played this game. It's been a few weeks, so I don't remember what button to press. Okay, so it is this trigger. I'm, on Mario Kart, it's like over here. Uh, so yeah, this game is actually really good. It controls pretty well, I think. I mean, at first, it's kind of confusing. You definitely got to get used to it a little bit because I was used to like Mario Kart 8 and everything. So going from that to this game definitely is a little bit confusing, but it's ultimately not that bad. So if you're looking for a new kart game to play, I recommend this game for sure. And this game I actually haven't played yet. It's called Sky Force Anniversary. I saw it online somewhere and I thought it looked really fun. So... And I haven't got around to playing it yet because I've just been playing other games or just been too busy trying to use my Vita. Like, I don't use my Vita all the time, but it's such an awesome console. And every single time I use it, I, uh, I'm i satisfied, you know? I am I enjoy it. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know I didn't go too in-depth with, like, the gameplay, but I just kind of wanted to show you guys what I have on my Vita right now. I'm, of course, going to get more games. But also, feel free to leave a suggestion for a game down below. I'd love to hear what you guys want to play because... I love to hear what you guys are playing or suggest me to play because there are so many games on the Vita that I could download and uh, I definitely need more because I think I have like 64 or maybe 124 gigabytes or 128. I can't remember exactly, but make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.